hey there, I think you should go get a nine to five. Now I know this is the opposite of what most gurus are gonna teach you online. And personally, I used to preach that do your own thing and don't be a slave to anyone. And entrepreneurship is the goal and nine to five sucks. I still stand by this, but I think that there's a major, major step that people miss before they jump into the game of entrepreneurship. And I'm gonna break this down in this video. Some people jump straight into business and they succeed at it, but that's not most people, that's just some of them. Most people fail at this because they have a hobby or a skill that they decide to turn into a business. So they decide to jump in head first and then they start seeing these things pop up that are essential for the business to grow and they notice that they did not sign up for this. They just want to do more of their hobby, which usually ends up to be a small percentage of the actual thing that they have to do. So they have to do all these recruiting, all this marketing, or this advertising, customer service, accounting, etc. And they quit. I personally have experienced this firsthand and I enjoyed performing close up magic. And I decided to turn this into a full on business and I wanted to go viral on social media. So I started posting on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. But then I quickly realized that I just enjoy performing magic to people and that's it. I don't enjoy filming a take 20 times before I get it right. I don't enjoy coming up with new material or new content to go viral because you can't keep posting the same things over and over again. I just wanted to practice this thing and not to mention the editing, of course. And then I quickly realized that I just wanted to keep this as a hobby. But I do understand why you think that you still want to turn your hobby into a business. Nowadays, we are bombarded with the amount of millionaire teenagers or multi-millionaire business owners who just turned 20 last year. And I get it. And it's great because it sets the bar way higher than where it was years ago. And personally, it makes me work harder. If I see an 18 year old making a million dollars a year, I see no reason why I can't do the same or even better. But the flip side of this is this makes people think that it's the norm for someone to be a millionaire when they're a teenager. And it makes it seem easier than it actually is. And people think it takes way less than what it actually takes to achieve this level of success. It makes people think that the norm is to be a millionaire by 19, while this can't be further from the truth for many people. And most people, I would say, making $20,000 a month is out of the picture and they probably can't even get there at the height of their career. Before we dive deeper into this, let's just state the obvious and that is don't believe everything you see on the internet because although some of the things you see are true, Many of them are also not true, so keep that in mind. Now, back in October of 2020, I decided to quit my job and become a free man and become self-employed. I dabbled in a few different things. I failed at many of them, but I found success in a few of them. But then I quickly came to the realization that a lot of people miss one step before they jump into entrepreneurship, which if they take that step, they can be way more prepared and even accelerate their growth when it comes to going into the business game. There's one simple step that's very underrated and not talked about on YouTube because, well, it doesn't sound sexy. Let's keep it real. This can really be the catalyst that gets someone to their goal way quicker and to get to the riches or the millions that one wants to make. And that step is working for someone that is better than you or that is an expert in the field that eventually you have a goal of becoming an expert in. If you want to become a marketing agency owner, well, work for a marketing agency that you look up to. You want to become a professional car dealer? Well, work as a salesperson in a car dealership. If your goal is to sell a fitness program sometimes in the future, get a sales job in any industry because what you learn at this job will translate into you being able to sell more of your fitness program in the future. Now, I know that you think that this will delay your goal of becoming a multimillionaire because it makes sense. Should I be working on my business or should I go get a job? If I work on my business, then I would be put putting in more time into the business as opposed to wasting two years in a job. But hear me out. Imagine instead of watching all these YouTube videos and buying all these courses and learning from these courses, you decide to get a job in a field that you want to pursue in the future. Let's say you want to sell a product in the future and you decide to go get a sales job. The benefit of this is that you would be practicing daily. You would also be getting direct feedback from someone who is an expert in the field and telling you the things you're doing right and the things you're doing wrong. And above all, you're getting paid for all this. So not only are you learning a skill, but you're getting paid to learn a skill and any other skill you want to learn in this life, you are going to have to pay for it. In that case, you're getting paid to learn 
and to develop a skill. And putting yourself out there and working in the trenches will teach you way more than any course or any YouTube video can ever teach you. I personally experienced this firsthand. I watched all the sales videos, all the Alex Hormozzi videos on YouTube, and I thought I was a master salesman until it was time for me to pick up the phone and start dialing. The last time my hands were shaking that much was the first time I performed the magic show back in high school. The goal of this is to do this thing over and over again, get direct feedback from someone better at you. Also, above all, get paid for it. I don't think it gets any better than this. Now, one very important thing to keep in mind is that if your goal is to become your own boss and start your own business or do whatever, and you decide to jump into a job that's going to teach you the necessary skills to start your own business later on, make sure that when you start getting paid to keep that goal in the back of your head, because if you start making good money, this can really make you get comfortable and complacent. So make sure you don't end up in this position because really, you know what they say, it's cliche, but they say that the salary is a drug they give you to give up on your dreams. Well, it basically makes you comfortable. You don't work with the same drive or the same hunger because, well, you're not hungry. You have money and you can spend that money so you become comfortable. Always remind yourself that this is just a stepping stone before you work on your own thing further in the future. Or if you just like your job so much and you're doing well, well, there's no need to quit then. You found yourself. But keep in mind that whenever you work for someone, there's always the risk that you're replaceable and you do not have full control over what's going on. As opposed to working for yourself, your boss decides to shut down the whole company, then you're out of a job. So here are the action steps to eventually get to the goal that you want to achieve. Number one is get a job in the field that you plan on working in long term. Number two is start learning. You're going to get paid, but make sure you focus on learning and make sure you focus on learning from your mistakes and developing your skills. Number three is start building your side business while working your job because you're going to need money to fund that side hustle. And this would really help you think long term, because if you're worried about how you're going to pay your next bills, you're not going to be able to focus on the long term vision. So you have constant money coming in from here and you are investing it into your skills and into the business. Number four is once you start making as much money from your side hustle as you make from your job, then you can start thinking about quitting and pursuing this full time. I would say wait six months and make sure you make that money for six months before you really understand that, okay, now I can self-sustain and make money on my own. And now number five is quit and do your own thing and take it to the moon. I hope you found this beneficial. Let me know if you did like the video, subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.